Fishy Boy is making some burgers. If you want one, all you have to do is drop a like as fast as you can with your pinky. When you're done, make sure to comment down below what you want on your burger and, of course, use code PINEAPPLESYT in the Fortnite item shop. It's how true legends are made. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So with the extension of the season for yet another time, it's unfortunate but it does give us more time to talk about what's going to happen as far as the event goes, what to expect, and everything like that. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. So remember how we keep talking about all of these different season 4 skins coming back into the item shop? Well, Currently in the item shop right now, we have my personal favorite skin in the entire game, the Moisty Merman, which of course came out in Season 4 and played a relatively decent role in the storyline of that season, appeared in a lot of loading screens, so just adding more fuel to the fire about a potential Season 4 link with Season 2 of Chapter 2. I saw a really cool Reddit post by user TechniqueFNBR who says, Theory, this is an alternate timeline where everything that was a movie is real. It is shown in the Lynx loading screen from Season 7 that she was the designer of Omega's suit. So this might mean Lynx also had a movie, which explains why now she is in the storyline as a member of the Agency. The loading screen from Season 4 of the heroes looking at Omega's projection looks like the hideout that the Battle Pass menu is. So, is it possible Carbide, who was the main hero from Season 4, may be the founder of the Agency? The final piece of evidence that confirmed this may be true are the posters from Season X about the Final Reckoning with the Chaos Agent on it. These were definitely movie posters because they were on the movie building in Gotham and Chaos Agent definitely is a real character in the story now. So definitely some interesting points there. If you'll remember this loading screen from Season 7 with Lynx, first of all on the top left corner you see Meow Souls. It was actually such an early teaser of a skin that was five seasons away, which is kind of crazy for me to think about that Epic is planning that far in advance with all these Easter eggs. But regardless, the main point I want to make here is on the desk in front of Lynx. Now, this has been mentioned before, but you can see very clearly a picture of Omega, a drawing of Omega. Is it possible that Lynx was the person who designed the suit for Omega and possibly Carbide and possibly even the rest of the heroes? I gotta say, it was a little surprising to see Lynx featured as heavily as she was in the Season 2 Chapter 2 cinematic trailer the day the season came out, because of course she was the first agent that Midas pinged during that trailer. And I've always kind of wondered how she fits into the grand scheme of this season, but I guess things make a little more sense when you go and look at that loading screen from Season 7 and see Meow Souls literally on her computer screen. Did she have inside knowledge of the agency and what was to come in Chapter 12? What if that loading screen was simply a glimpse into the future and actually ahead of its time from Season 7, showing exactly what would be happening here during this part of the season we're currently in. Definitely very interesting to think about. Now, in the theory from Reddit I just showed you, this loading screen was also mentioned. This is a Season 4 loading screen where all of the heroes are looking at Omega's actual location in Moisty Mire. The theory stated that this projection looks a lot like the one in the Battle Pass menu currently in Chapter 2 Season 2, and truthfully it does kind of look like that, but we know that this picture was actually taken in the base of the hero's mansion back in Season 4. It doesn't mean that it doesn't look similar, because it does, and it's just another slight tie-in that we have between this season and Season 4. So on that same Reddit post, there was a reply by user GamerZoom108 who says, I found a few things that mess with this. Many times in movies, they hire people to custom make costumes for the actors. Lynx could just be the costume designer for the movie. The place that the heroes are observing the image of Omega is underneath of the hero mansion. Carbide can't physically be a part of the Ghost or Shadow Agency since they live on different worlds. 
Carbide comes from the Athena Island, and Ghost slash Shadow come from the Apollo Island. Yet, this clashes with the Chaos Agent. We already have a few clues that Chaos Agent is the leader of Shadow, since one of the loading screens shows Chaos Agent monitoring a bunch of screens. This either proves that Chaos Agent survived the black hole and made it to the Apollo Island, or the Final Reckoning movie was shot on the Apollo Island and had to be shown on the Athena Island. Some more really good points here, and of course, this is the loading screen that was referenced in that part of the theory, with Chaos Agent standing in front of a bunch of screens. Now, there are some interesting things on these screens that make people believe the things they do about it. So number one, you can see there is a screen with the shadow logo directly on it, which of course is a hint that our boy Chaos Agent could be a big part of the shadow agency. Now you also see a screen which looks like a whole bunch of clouds, and as you know there have been a whole bunch of clouds, a ring cloud if you will, that is sort of formed around the agency as a build up to the device event. As far as that Final Reckoning poster goes, there were a number of those posters scattered across the map in Season X, and of course one of them definitely featured the skin that we now know as Chaos Agent. Chaos Agent was never actually in the game during Chapter 1 when these posters were revealed around the map, which definitely leaves a lot to be desired and leaves a lot up to thought as to how exactly Chaos Agent is on a poster in Chapter 1 when he's not even in the game yet. Now, once we got to Chapter 2, it didn't take long. In fact, it took about nine days for this skin to become available. And then, of course, a lot of the stuff that we've seen and known starts to come to be pieced together about the Chaos Agent. But still, his persona and his intentions are really still very much a mystery at this point in time. Now, I think it's interesting that that Discord reply I showed you mentions that Carbide could not physically be in this map because we're in a different world. Well, again, I've said this many times, but no one knows where we are in relation to the Athena Island. No one knows if we're in a different universe, in a different, just a different island. We don't know how far away we are. Yes, we did go through like a wormhole slash black hole thing to get here, but at the same time, exactly how far away is that? I mean, we don't know. We kind of guess it's kind of far away, and we don't know even chronologically where we are. Are we before the events of Chapter 1? Are we after the events of Chapter 1? I mean, the whole reason to get out of the Chapter 1 map was because of that giant loop the visitor talked about. Are we still in that loop? Are we before the loop? Are we after the loop? What's going on with the Doomsday device? Is it trying to get us back in the loop? Is Midas evil? So many questions to be answered, and this is why I really think it's unfortunate the event keeps getting delayed as well as the new season, because at this point, man, this season has lasted almost 120 days. We're ready. We are ready to get something going, especially to see our very first storyline event since October 15th. So in regards to Carbide, Omega, whoever else from Season 4 returning to this map, Nobody knows what is and isn't possible. I mean, at the end of the day, these are just theories. While some of these theories make some good sense, I mean, come on, would it really surprise you for Epic Games to really surprise you with what they're planning for the storyline? This has happened so many times where they throw you something so random, so unpredictable. It's almost not even worth talking about it because no one knows. And I guarantee you, no matter how much we theorize and talk about the event, even based on evidence that we have, we're not going to accurately predict the entire thing. I do think there's something to be said about all of these tie-ins between the Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 map. For example, like we just talked about, the Chaos Agent posters in Chapter 1. As we previously talked about, all of the Season 4 references throughout the game, and let's not forget, they even teased Season 4 with the teasers for Chapter 2. That's gotta mean something. I mean, literally, they teased the logo for the heroes from Season 4, that's got to mean something. Not to mention links with the drawing of Omega with the Meowsels in the corner, not to mention Venturion's outfit. Just so much is coming together at this point in time, and at this point, I would like to believe there will be at least some reference to Season 4 
inside of the upcoming event, the device, which I think would make a lot of sense and would give a reason for all these teasers that Epic dropped over 120 days ago and I think still ring very true with a lot of meaning to this day. Guys, if you have any theories, suggestions, or comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section, of course, or send me a tweet over on Twitter. Those are your two best friends in terms of getting into contact with me and sharing any of your theories about the upcoming season or event with me as well. I really appreciate all of your support. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like if you're new. I've actually looked at the analytics and a majority of you guys are not subscribed to my channel. Well over 75% of people who watch are not subbed. So go ahead and tap that sub button. It's free and it keeps you fully updated with everything I do in the future. Of course, use code PINEAPPLESYT in the item shop to support me. And I will see you guys in my next upload. And until then, take it easy and peace out.